Now today I am going to take a minute to talk about what I expect in the year 2017 from some of the theories that we will be talking about on the channel. So why don't we start off with One Piece? Okay, my expectations are high. This year we are going to be recovering the Reverie, Wano, and the rest of Whole Cake Island. So my expectations are as high as they've probably ever been next to last year when we were going to get a whole year about Sanji, which I will be doing another video on whether or not Son the year of Sanji lives up to the hype probably next week or so. But the point is, is that we have a lot to cover, but a couple of things I expect to see is, I don't expect to see him at the Reverie, a video coming on that, but I do expect to see some dragon next year. I expect to see more of Binyoko. I expect Binyoko to become a much more re reoccurring thing, and I definitely am expecting for us to see Shay. In the story for the first time post time kit, we've seen him in like cover pages, but we haven't actually seen him. So I'm definitely expecting to see him very soon in 2017. Now, other things I'm expecting, I'm expecting a lot of DD greatness, as I said before, from the Reverie. I'm expecting some amazing stuff with DD. I'm expecting something with your host to go down. And I have a lot of expectations for Wano Kuni, specifically getting a lot more about Zoro. We got a lot of Sanji this year, so I'm expecting a lot of focus on Zoro next year. Now, my expectation for the actual Wano Kuni will be done in a separate video, and I did a separate video from what would be discussed at the Reverie, which will be somewhere on screen, probably the right or left hand corner. But definitely, when you're done with this video, go check that out. But yeah, so I'll save my Wano Kuni predictions and what I expect to be covered in Wano Kuni for another video. But I definitely expect a lot of Zoro. Um, I maybe something related to Kuina. I don't want to give away much of my video. But I'm also expecting to learn what Kaido Delafruit is. I feel like this 2017 will be the year where we finally learn about Kaido Delafruit. I feel the story really picking up pace and going a lot faster. Oda probably wants to end it in the next, like, five or six, seven years. So we're really picking up pace now. So, yeah, we're going full burst ahead. And that's probably all I have to say, really, for the, my unorganized thoughts on what I expect from One Piece. I also expect Whole Cake Island to be resolved. It obviously has to be. I don't expect Big Mom to be defeated. I don't see that happening. And, yeah. Maybe another gear, I think I have power up for Luffy, expecting that. But now let's talk about Boruto. Boruto will be entering new content this year. Boruto is about to take out Momoshiki, or whatever his name is, in the manga. So we're about to get to the new content, guys. So I have to for that. Okay, now there's only going to be 12 chapters, they're not much. But I do expect to learn what happens in Naruto. I expect to learn who the current Hokage is, the status of all the characters, like I want to find out what happened to Sasuke, Sakura, Kakashi, Hinata, Kiba, Shino, all those guys. As for the Naruto anime, my expectations are relatively basic. I'm expecting them to finish adapting the light novels, that's chapter 700, and for us to get the Boruto anime. My My Hero Academia expectations are high. By the time this video gets out, I should have already read more of the manga. By, I would say, February, I want to be caught up to the My Hero Academia manga. And we're getting the fourth festival arc animated, so I have high expectations for that. I'm not going to go into detail, as I don't want to spoil the anime-only watchers. But yeah, the fourth festival arc, the flaming guy from the trailer, he is the boss. And Toradoki is going to be there being awesome, and... That's about it for that. But now I'm going to quickly touch on my expectation for Super and maybe the future that on the channel. So, I've been looking at the new Super arc, and if it continues to impress me with the information that is released about it, I will cover it. So, if when it comes out, I have not been dissatisfied once. Mind you, they need to not dissatisfy me one time. I may possibly be covering the arc. It's a new arc, it's a fresh start. I'll give it one more shot. 
So I'm gonna review Dragon Ball Super, probably. Probably gonna review it, and my expectations for the arc are actually the lowest they've ever been for anything in my life. I have, like, no expectations. I'm just expecting something watchable. Like, the future Trunks arc was so bad, it wasn't watchable, in my opinion. I couldn't watch it. But I'm expecting this universal survival arc to be watchable. And I'm expecting to be introduced to the other gods of destruction. And for them all to be unique and different. Those are my only, that's my only expectation, is that our new, the gods of destruction and your attendants have, are diverse. That's my only expectation, the rest are just nothing. Season 2 of Attack on Titan is coming, so that I'm definitely excited for, and we're definitely going to be talking about that. I don't know if I'll review it, I'll definitely do reactions and maybe like, general discussions. Not like what will happen, but just opinionated discussions. I'm not sure how I'm going to handle Attack on Titan. I'm not sure if I will cover it. Honestly, it depends on how it fits into my schedule.